Hey everyone, welcome back to another The Morris Plays Let's Play of Animal Crossing New Leaf. Let's just grab this weed right out of there. And we, oh, there's another one. We won't have too many weeds because from today we should have the beautiful ordnance, which means our flowers will no longer wilter. And so I guess we should probably do our little check to see if we've got any new hybrids. Uh, and then we're gonna, oh yes we have. We've got a new pink one. We've already had one behind this tree. But we've got a second one here, which is really awesome. I think at some point we want to fill the entire grid with um, pink hybrids, maybe. And our trees are growing! It's looking like a forest, it's really cool. I'm um, not sure what to do about this area here. kind of want to put another tree here, but that would mean getting rid of the stump. So I don't know about that yet. Um, if you have any ideas, of course, let me know. Um, yes, we're going to try and investigate the perfect town today, because a lot of public work projects are only unlocked when you get a perfect town. Um, so we're going to go and do like an evaluation with Isabel. And then I thought we could start building the path up here. Uh, oh, the tree's growing. Yay. So small. Um, we're going to kind of extend the path from this mini plaza all the way down to these houses. Um, which would be quite cool. And we have Cube in the campground as well. So I don't know whether to save Cube until a little later. I think we should probably check the other hybrids first as well. And then we'll head off and see Isabel, I think. Uh, so all of our hybrids looking good. We could use another... Um, I think we could put another flower here. So we could use some more red pansies, really. Um, and another orange one. Oh, there's a fossil. I suppose we should probably collect the fossils as we go. It's looking a bit cloudy as well. Uh, so I don't know if we do some heavy snow. Uh, oh, we got another white one. I was hoping for another um, blue pansy. But that's okay. Um, no yellow ones. Oh, we did get another one and another white one. Or did we put this one there? I can't remember. Oh, fossil. There we go. So that's good news. Another, another blue pansy. So we can move these along. Uh, I don't know if we even have to bother watering them now because the beautiful ordinance should take care of that. But just in case, we'll water these blue pansies because um, we don't want to lose those and we want them to breed some more. Um, I think they just look the coolest. They're definitely one of my favorites. Um, so I have no idea how far away from a perfect town we are, but Isabel should be able to tell us. Because um, there's a few things you can do when you've got a perfect town. You can, of course, get the Jacob's Ladder flower, I think. I think that's what it's called. And also, you can get lots of public work projects. Hey, Isabel. Do we get our town reading from here? I think we do. Hello, Mayor Mori. Is there something you'd like to inquire about? Yes. Um, advice for... Oh, citizen satisfaction. There we go. Uh, you want to know how satisfied the citizens of Moriland are? Sure thing! Here's what the Citizen Satisfaction Committee had to say. That's a mouthful. I think it's riding the so-so rails. Oh no! So average! Oh, that hurts! <laughs> We've put so much effort in. In addition, the citizens complained about the cleanliness of town. All the weeds and garbage make them feel like they're living on a landfill. Their words, not mine. What? We only have like two weeds. What are you talking about? The fate of Moriland lies in your hands, Mayor Mori. I just know you'll do us proud. Ouch. Okay, let's uh, check the town tune as well, because thank you, Dar, for sending me the town tune. I'm sorry. I keep forgetting, but we're going to do it. So let's set the town tune. Town tune? Town tune. We call it town tune. Um, but I know some places they call it a tune. Um, our current town tune is okay, but I always like change. We can always change it back um, and all change it up every couple of weeks or something. Even if you're not a musician, you should try to compose a theme that captures the essence of Moriland. Oh, okay, here we go. So, um, see if I can get this right. Oh, it's hard to use a stylus like this. Um, we're looking for a B. If this isn't correct, Da, you'll have to <laughs> tell me and we'll correct it. But it's looking about right. Um, at the bottom we need an A, C. Of course, it goes without saying, but if anyone has any town tunes or patterns they'd like to share or they'd like to see in Moriland, just tweet them to me or 
post a link or something. There we go. Okay, that's cool. Confirm. There we go. We did it, finally. <laughs> I've been meaning to do that since like the first week. Ah. Oh my, what a wonderful theme. It's like music to my ears, literally. Oh, I didn't realize Isabel sang it. That was really sweet. I'm sure this will be a big hit with the town's folk. We'll start using it right away. Awesome. Uh, we probably could do the public works project. So while we're here, we may as well get some more public works projects going because I looked it up. Any villager can suggest a police station. So it's just a case of waiting until someone suggests it, I guess. Uh, what would you like to work on? Start a new project, even though we've got so many debts to pay. Here are the current requests from townspeople. We need something cool. Um, what should we do? I'm starting to think we should just... The next best thing is probably the fountain. Let's do the fountain. Would you like to start work on a fountain project? Let's do it. Maybe we could put it between the plazas and then make a path between the two plazas. I don't know if we've got enough space. Let's go and find out. Okay, Mayamori, please lead me to the spot where you'd like to place the fountain. Well, I'm thinking in between... Oh, no! Someone's house is in the way. I was hoping to get it right between the plazas. Um, between the, the main plaza and the kind of train station plaza. Hey, Inkwell, admiring the hard work of the campground, are you? Or the campsite, should I say? So I was thinking... It would go here. Oh, Cece, out and about. Look at you, Mayor Mori. Ooh, being mayor looks good on you. How's everything going today? New public work project, huh? I'm sure you're building an app uh, apple strudel museum. No. No museums, unfortunately. I don't know if we're going to get it close enough. Uh, ooh, it's quite annoying that this is off-center, actually, compared to the tree. I've only just noticed. Um, so we want it kind of central. Let's see if we can get it close here. It's probably too close to the plaza. Oh no, the resident home! We should have thought about this and we could have moved it. I don't know where else would be a good place to put it, honestly. We could always, uh, we could always put it in front of our house. Oh, trying to walk through a bush. That's not going to work. Okay, let's go and check around our house. Because we haven't got much going on up here, really. So this might be a good place. Um, so if we walk down from the door in line with the tree, we're going to want it around here somewhere, I think. Let's have a look. That's okay. It's not too far from the rock. So I think we've got enough space to put the path around Around it, yep. Understood. Well, let's go ahead and start the needed preparations. Also, to help us gather donations to fund the fountain is our helpful town gyroid Lloyd. It's going to be hard to wait for all the donations to arrive, so uh, we have our fountain. Well, I must return to the town hall. Ah, you don't need to worry about making the trip back, Mayor. Okay, I'll be taking my leave. Isabel, such a sweetheart. Okay, so we haven't got anyone at the plaza, which means maybe someone's at the beach. Or maybe we just don't have anyone today. Um, oh, I forgot that we planted loads of coconut trees. Um, it's always a long <laughs> run down this beach. It's really long. We could use another ramp, in all honesty. Um, no one here, so I guess we haven't got any special visitors, but we have got Cube, so maybe maybe we could go and meet Cube before we start laying some more paths down. Um, Cube is really awesome, one of my all-time favourites, so I think we want to invite him. Um, he's always really sweet, so... Oh, I suppose we should... Uh, wait, I should probably get the bloom. We haven't got any blooms in a while, have we? Even though we know it's going to be the balloon furniture. And it is a balloon chair. <laughs> we do need to take them all to the um, museum at some point as well. Okay, let's go meet Cube. Oh, what's that? 
Ah, so you're interested in the wooden counter. Well, I suppose I could let you have it for five meow coupons. Oh, we've got quite a few. Let's let's buy it. All right. Thank you very much. Yep, that's five meow coupons. This is pretty cool as well. Ah, so you're interested in the rice bales. Well, I suppose I could let that go for five meow coupons. What do you say? Sounds good. We've got plenty to spare. Uh, thank you very much. Yep, that's five meow coupons. I've just realized. Is that... That's obviously Harv's cabin, isn't it? But... I was wondering how similar it is to the one in New Horizons, but it looks a bit different. Hey, Cube. Another one with this office. This is like, we've had like three people. Did you hear? Cube is in town. Hey, that's me, dude. This town is just the best. Really, only one thing can improve a place like this. Free mooncake. Oh, you're not wrong. Can we do anything in here? No. Can't even push your books over. Okay, we have to do our traditional beep beep. Oh, we don't like scary cube. Huh? Did you say something? Let's talk. Life on the road's not so bad. I just wish there was enough room in the van for my commemorative baking sheet collection. Okay. So what is, oh, he has all of this, the office stuff for sale. Nothing really of interest, I don't think. We just want you to move here, Cube. Huh? Did you say something? You should live here. I was hoping you'd ask, but the person down uh, at Town Hall told me there's no room for a new resident. Wait a second, you're the mayor, aren't you? I have a super awesome idea, you know. If you agree to it, I was thinking maybe you could pull some strings for me so I can move in. Sure, why not? Nice. Okay, then. What do you think? Uh, who do you think wouldn't mind moving out of town? Um, oh, this is really hard. Um, I like all of those. Ask someone else. Um, oh, no. I like them all. Who? I can't remember who's left. Oh, no. <laughs> This is really difficult. We're going to have to ask Deidre to leave. Deidre, sounds good. I'm a little nervous. Uh, confrontation's not really my thing, but I'd do anything to move here. Phew, I don't think I've ever been so nervous in my entire life, but that went great. Deidre was planning on moving out anyway. I'm actually sorry to see her go. Wait, was she? Or did they just say that? <laughs> For now, I'm going to focus on positive. I'm uh, I'm moving in. Well, I hope to see you soon, Cube. We love Cube. We have him in pretty much every town, I would say. Um, okay. At some point, we've got to sell all these fossils. Um, haven't really got the pocket space at the moment. So let's go ahead and lay these paths up here. So we're going to do pretty much similar to what we've done around the roost. And just lay some paths. Oh, we've got another fossil. And another fossil. There's my shovel. Look, I dug up a fossil. Hey, Dizzy. How you feeling? Oof. Howdy, Mori. Does bad weather make you sleepy too? Woo. So anyway, what's up? Uh, let's chat. Say, I was wondering if you'd do me a big favor, Maury. Uh, I've got this present for Cece, but I was thinking it'd be better... <laughs> surprise! You kidding? Cece's right there. Uh, it'd be better surprise if you delivered it for me, especially if you sang a little song to go with it. Just kidding. Good, we can't sing. You don't have to sing. Uh, but will you please deliver the present for me? No problem. Sweet! Let me give you the present to deliver. Okay, watch this for a speedy delivery. Oh, could you please take care of this today? Sure. <laughs> hey, great to see you again. Stay fresh. Oh, what's going on? Stay fresh. Oh, what is it? Stay fresh. It's a delivery. From Dizzy. What? Dizzy sent this over. Let's open it up. Hey, a full plaid shirt. I'll try it on later. Good, I like your outfit. We don't want to swap it out. Anyway, it's pretty nice to get such a good gift. 
Thanks for doing this, Maury. Hey, you should get something for all your trouble. Here, have a pair. Yes, no way. We're going to go and bury this right away. Yeah, hopefully that's a nice thank you gift. It really is. Okay, awesome. Okay, where are we going to plant the pear? Um, we haven't got a pear tree yet, so we want it to be somewhere where it's definitely going to grow. Um, I feel like this is a nice spot. I think what we need to do is cut the tree down. Because I heard um, that if you plant a tree in a location where one already is, it will definitely grow. But I don't know if that's true, but I feel like the chances are increased a little bit. Okay, I can't believe we got a pear. Okay, bury the pear. Everyone always asks for a pear, so that's really good. Okay, we better do a little traditional watering. Just in case. Even though we've got a beautiful town, so it should be fine. Okay, cool. Okay, let's get back on track. And go ahead and plant. Uh, plant? We're going to lay some paths. Sorry, we don't want to plant anything. And we want to start up here. Probably, um... Oh, no, I've just realised we're not going to be able to lay one right here, are we? This is going to look very messy. Maybe we're going to want to stop the path here. Um, okay, let's just start this way, actually. Cece, you're going to have to move. So we're going to want it about here, aren't we? Oh, I keep doing that. It's really difficult to remember. You, ha by habit, you kind of close the menu when you're finished. Um, you can just press that button there. Um, okay, let's see if I can do... Remember the order. There we go. And then we're just going to lay a few paths here. Like so. It's super easy if you stand in the right location. Um, oh, it's a real shame there's not enough room for these houses. I wonder if we can move them back one. I don't know if it would like that. Um, but maybe we could just end the... Maybe we could bring the path up here instead. Oh no, that's not where we wanted it. Uh, let's try it. Oh wait, there's only one tile here. Oh no, there is two tiles. That's okay. There we go. That was a bit deceiving. It looked uh, like it was... It's because the fence is in the middle of a tile. That was a bit strange, that was. Okay, if we stand in this orientation, we should be able to drop one there. Um, oh, we're going to have to correct a couple of these because I don't know... Oh, I don't know if we're going to... We can't put one here, can we? Oh, we can. Just. It just fits on the edge. Um, okay, that's okay. Um, there we go. Pop these in there. Two more to go. Perfect. So now we have a little uh, path here and up to here, which isn't too bad. Um, I was hoping to have it along here, but we won't be able to... Where's the shovel? I don't think we can put... Yeah, we can't put a path here, can we? Let's just do a test. No, it won't let me. That's really annoying. <laughs> That's okay though, we can work with it. We might be able to move the houses back one, maybe. Because um, we can definitely have a path along here. Um, but we'll, we'll see. 
Okay, so we probably could move some flowers up here as well. Maybe these. We have got a few. These are the cosmos, right? Yeah. Um, just until we decide what we're kind of doing in the area. There we go, not too bad. Uh, eventually we'll get some more bushes along here or something, I think. Um, probably end up joining the path up down here, actually. Oh, another weed, we must get rid of it. The town residents are not happy. Um, oh, of course, we put trees and a bush in the way, but eventually if we wanted to, we could run the path all the way up here. Um, but we might not need it. Um, okay, I think we should, wait, is that another balloon? Oh, I didn't mean to shake the tree. I wanted to get the balloon. There we go. Oh, we missed it. Okay, we got it. Okay, I think this is going to be a another. Oh, wait. Oh, it's a balloon hat. False alarm. <laughs> okay, I think. We should probably do a little shift in the roost. Oh, Chester, hey. I always get sleepy after lunch, so I drink coffee to wake up. Woo! Yawn. Oh, the coffee and my sleepiness are duking it out, Cookie. Well, I hope you win. Hello, <laughs> Hello welcome. Hello. How can I help? Uh, I want to work. With so much in your pockets, you can't make good coffee. Once you've lightened your load, come back. Coo. Oh, yes, of course. Um. Yeah, that should do it. How can I help? I want to work. Alright, you have to make coffee exactly as the customer asks. Here we go, who are we gonna have first? Tex. Uh, Maury, I'll just have the usual. Okay. What coffee beans should I use? Kilimanjaro for Tex. With regular amount of milk, which means two, spoon uh, two spoonfuls of sugar, sorry. There we go. I hope you approve, Tex. <laughs> Let me absorb this flavor. Does it smell good? Excellent. I just uh, want to be enveloped. This is such a weird phrase. Enveloped in this nice smell. Oh, I'm sorry. I was super, it was super delicious. I'll be back again. I liked it when they dissed Brewster's coffee. <laughs> oh, hey. I'll have a coffee, please, with lots of milk. Okay, so you want lots of milk, which means lots of sugar. Uh, what coffee beans should I use? Um, well, according to the guide that I've got here, it's a mocha. Uh, and lots of milk. I wonder if the new villagers, if they are um, on the queue to move in, or if they're just selected at random. go enjoy your coffee thanks now let's see how it tastes not bad Maury not bad it's not my oh what it's not my absolute favorite roast but everything else is good oh I read the wrong one it should have been a, a blend no <laughs> I'll definitely be back for seconds okay dizzy how can we help? Uh, I'll have what I always have, Maury. Okay, what do you always have? A blue mountain. And a lot of sugar. Blue mountain. How much milk should I put in? Lots. And how much sugar should I use? Well, three. <laughs> the sugar and the, the milk always match. For some reason. Dizzy already looks like he's on coffee. <laughs> he likes to add too much. Let's take a sip. 
Whoa, yeah, this is too good. I can't believe I'm getting to drink coffee this perfect. I'll definitely be back. Woo! No way, tour timer. It's good to see you. Hey there, Sprite. Give me a cup of coffee to go. Okay, tour timer has Kilimanjaro. Which coffee bean should I use? Kilimanjaro. And how much milk should I put in? The regular amount. And how much sugar? So that equals two spoonfuls of sugar. It's a bit weird that they put three options, but always have two of them the same. <laughs> really happy to see you tour timer, though. There we go. It's your takeaway coffee. Oh, ready, is it? Hmm, that's grand. You can, uh, you just can't beat the coffee from this cafe, so I'll be back again. Hear that, Brewster? They can't beat my coffee. It seems the customers have all been taken care of. Good work, Koo. Why don't you call it a day? You were really flowing with the coffee today, Koo. Excellent work. Today I'll pay you in superb coffee beans. These are the highest quality beans I stock. When do we get more prizes? Thank you. Come back and help me again sometime. Wait, I'd like to give you this. It's rather old, but you still might get some use from it. Yay, what's it going to be? Hopefully not another coffee machine, because we got that last time. Please continue to do your best. Oh, we will. What did we get? Um, an espresso maker and some coffee beans. So we need to move some stuff around. Um, we want to keep those, don't we? The balloon chair and the balloon hat can go. Uh, we're going to take those to the museum at some point. But yeah, I feel that's a good place to wrap it up. Um, I don't know if we... I don't feel like we did much today, but we did meet Cube. We did lay some paths, even though it's not exactly where we wanted them. Uh, we might be able to jiggle things around. Let me know your thoughts on that. And of course, we got a... Did we? No, we didn't do it. Oh, yeah, we did. We put the, the fountain down, didn't we? So... Uh, we're going to need to donate that and clear our debts tomorrow, probably. And also, we changed our town tune, so thanks again, Dar, for sharing that. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I hope you're still enjoying the series. Let me know any feedback you have and anything you'd like to see included. Thanks for watching, and thank you very much to the channel members for helping me um, set time aside to make these videos. I really, really appreciate it. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!